Gentlemen, welcome to a capsule selection. Today, we're going to dive into a list that really captivates the woman's nose. I know that we always put out these lists to very much so get a drawing or a luring factor of seduction for women in date night scenarios. But today, what I've done was take a very interesting approach and watch a few of the lady content providers on YouTube to see what they're really drawn in by, what they are actually preaching to say that men should wear and what they love on men. I really want to take that concept and bring it to you guys that are in my community. So today, we're going to talk about a list of fragrances that have given women pure bliss and pure ecstasy, unbridled ecstasy. And so if you're interested in that type of content if that sounds like something you think you'll enjoy pull up a seat pour a glass and of course let's enhance Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, facets, and nuances of scents, cigars, and wines. I am your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. We are going to dive into a list that I think is going to be a fun one and actually one that gives great information. These are fragrances in my collection that I think I've drawn from and either given inspiration from to bring to you guys that women find so beautiful, so alluring that they bring ultimate ecstasy to a person when being worn and that person should be you. So these are fragrances that I want to talk about. Most of them, as I come to find out, these women love vanilla centric spicy style of fragrances. So they're slightly gourmandish leading. Mostly some of them are spicy and sweet. Um, some woody undertones, some green undertones, but very much so things that you should have in your collection already or a similar fragrance. And these six or seven are really much go, going to be a calling card for you on date night scenarios, any lounge scenario, and even scenarios where you want to just relax and then go out and be flirtatious. So first off, we're going to start the list with a great fragrance for the house of Nishane. And that scent is going to be Nishane's Ani. Ani is a scent that is a beautifully amber fresh green fragrance done by the house of uh, Nishane has said this is done with um, the master perfumer Cecile Zerokin and what Cecile Zerokin always does is build complex fragrances with simple notes. She did a great great job with developing this very rich vanilla fragrance with ginger. It's a masterpiece for fall. This one is a fragrance that has a seductive warmth where spices meet sweetness and it's a, it creates a cozy yet undeniably masculine feel that draws people in. It's a favorite for its smooth uh, character, blend, and performance, and it's just done well for daytime and evening wear. So that's one thing about this particular scent that I noticed women talked about with a vanilla-centric scent with a little bit of greenness to it. It can't go wrong with that particular style of fragrance in the fall time, especially when you're trying to be alluring and bring ecstasy to the person around you. So once again, this is a vanilla cardamom based fragrance with a lot of benzoin, ambergris in the, you know, the base of it. Has a little bit of pink pepper freshness, a little bit of rose that's under bed and underlying inside of it. But ultimately, it is a vanilla green um, black currant bud, cardamom sandalwood type of fragrance that is very much so a chronic card. And you know it works because you see how much juice is gone from this particular bottle. It works phenomenally on my skin and I enjoy what it does. So first off in the list of what I got from these women, as since they bring pure ecstasy, Nishane Ani. Get your nose on it. Next up on this list, gentlemen, I got a sleeper for you guys. This is one, I mentioned it maybe a few weeks back. It's one that is in my collection as a sweet, sexy, seductive, heliotrope and almond brace fragrance. This one here is one of those fragrances that you need in your collection when you want something that's a hugger. It's not a screamer, it's not something that projects super loud, but it's tenacious as it goes on the skin and it just stays there in this constant, constant, sweet, performing um, skin scent. And it's what you want sometimes. You don't need everything to scream. You want something to actually allure people in. If they can smell it five feet away, they don't need to be allured into you. So you have a fragrance like this, which is Indigo Tanzanite by the House of Armani. It's a very sweet blend of benzoin, sister's lap denim, some uh, patchouli is in this one as well. It's the perfect balance of sweet and spicy. That's exactly what these things call for. So it has a lot of notes like patchouli, like I stated, cardamom and a touch of floral sweetness. It's a very daring scent that embodies warmth and depth. And that's what you want. This fragrance is like an idea for those cool nights 
when you want to leave a lasting impression on a woman's nose and then just give them that nosegasm, as I stated in my video previous to this one. It's a very phenomenal scent. Like I said, it's not a screamer. Don't get this scent or don't sample the scent expecting something to just blast them all away, but expect something to last on the skin for eight to 10 hours. And it has this very sweet, warm, seductive, milky almond take with a spicy floral heliotrope and a uh, vanilla benzoin. It's a nice, addition to anybody's collection when they're looking for something from the house of Armani. Once again, Indigo Tanzanite from Armani Privé. Next up, gentlemen, I got a classic, a cult classic here from the house of Atelier des Ors. This one here is one of those scents that just comes off with a great touch of vanilla, cardamom, and styrax with a little bit of animatic touch from ambergris and some cardamom and cedar wood inside of this one. Gives it a notes punch that gives every woman the scent of ecstasy. When you spray this, guys, this is a magical fragrance with its mix of dark vanilla and warm spices. It's a scent that has a lot of seductive mysteriousness to it. It's captivating. It's a very beautiful scent for starry nights out. As you can see, the bottle is one that women will be oppressed with you have on your table. It's smoky. It's slightly animatic undertones are very sexy and sensual. And it's perfect for those who want something with a bold, lasting impression. This one here, two sprays max, maybe three if you're going out somewhere you have a lot of layers on. Two sprays, one on each side of the neck is one that becomes very, very enthralling for any nose around you. This one here, that Tahitian vanilla along with the ambergris and the cardamom create one of the best smelling vanilla fragrances for masculine skin. It's one that's unisex leaning, but more to me, it, it depends on the wear as well. For more, for me, when I wear this versus someone I've given an option to wear, this one to me comes off much more masculine as the deep smoky woods come up, like a, almost like a, a, a birch wood, but it's not listed in the notes, but it has a lot of musk depth to it, a lot of pink pepper. Styrax is very, very sexy in this one as well. Animalic, sweet, cardamom, and vanilla. Atelier Des Ors does the job every time. So get your nose on this one as well. One that brings unbridled ecstasy to any time a lady smells this on your neck, man. Super, super sexy. Super, super sexy, man. One of the best performers as well. So once again, Atelier Des Ors, Lunfalee. Next up, gentlemen, let's talk about this Alberto Morealis classic, cult classic for certain. This is a gentleman's fragrance of all gentleman fragrances. This is one that's been out for ages and it continues to be a darling of the fragrance community. This is Pie by G. Fanchi. And boy, is it a good, good fragrance. Now, this one to me has been a staple in my collection for years. This is actually a 2009 batch of uh, October, I believe. I got this years and years ago um, and actually repurchased a bottle to keep this flacon um, without being used because it was so old and vintage. But to me, for those who love a scent with a creamy almond classic uh, feel to it with a lot of vanilla undertones, when you smell this, the pie is just a timeless classic. This fragrance is a balance of warm and intriguing scents with a lot of edge. It's ideal for cooler days, but when you want to wear it at night without overpowering, it's perfect for that. It's sweet, it embodies a confidence with every time you spray it, and it's very, very central from its use of guayac, sweet, warm guayac wood, benzoin, a little bit of mandarin is in the open of this one with coumarin, tonka bean note that makes it sweet ultimately. It's got a little bit of pine, a little bit of rosemary inside of it, but it's very sensual the way it leans because of that orange, sweet vanilla, benzoin, and guayac wood mix. It's one that turns heads every single time you wear it. It's an intriguing, well-balanced, well-blended designer fragrance that you can get on any, in, I think even on Amazon, it's gotta be around $30, $40 at the most. Get your nose on this, guys. This is a classic that's gonna be around forever and has been around forever. And this is Get Vinci Pie, just a nosegasm, ecstasy bringing type of scent, man. This might even be my scent of the day, man. Is that how sexy it is? Beautiful blend. Once again, Get Vinci Pie is a head turner for this list. Get your nose on it. Next up, gentlemen, I've told you about Spice Diarno from the House of Electimus. I told you it would be on a few lists coming this fall and winter. This is the list that I want to put it on. This is the list that needs to be objectively and subjectively talked about when it comes to Spice Diarno as a fragrance for the masculine skin. This is a slightly spicy, sweet, warm touch take on gourmand leaning scents for men. It's powdery, it's seductive, it's vanilla, it's labdanum, it's leathery, it's 
just unique take on a brand accord which creates this very lush feel of warmth and inviting um, comfort and that's one thing about this one it's cinnamon in here it's a little bit of bergamot lemon in the opening which adds this spiciness to it uh, or freshness to the spices which is very very um, becoming of a beautiful scent that brings forth a, a just this objective feeling of comfort and that's the thing about this one if you're looking for one that just sit back it helps you settle into to a comfort feeling settle into a very drawn in feeling when you want to be in a love making type of mood and you don't want something that's screamed from miles away but something that's very much so sensual based this fragrance lingers in the air with great longevity great sillage but it also is one that is inviting scent because of the trail that's so appealing to everyone around you it's spicy it's a very complex fragrance and I think all you guys should get your nose on this for a sample at least um, but that is Spice Diana from Electimus one that I've seen on different reviewers from the feminine sites talking about how they like this fragrance guys sometimes we got to listen to them and I have and I've bought this one I'm appreciating what it does so Electimus and Spice Diana is one of those beautiful fragrances that I think you should get your nose on as well all right, gentlemen, next up on my list, this is the fragrance that I am personally putting on this list to give you guys something of a differentiator from the rest. To me, when I looked at these particular lists from these women, they were noting things of great pyramid structures, how these scents should go off. And I noticed that these women didn't have this type of fragrance on their list or not this specific one. But I know from what they were saying, the intrigue, the interest, the actual value of the fragrance, the way it comes off in the skin, the evolution and everything of that sort, that they were missing a gem in the community. And this is Voyage à Paris from the house of Fragrance du Bois, a very Parisian, sophisticated style of scent with a lot of woody, musky tonality. It's a romantic, opulent fragrance that is designed to capture the attention of those around you. It's a slightly aromatic composition with divine in the mid and jasmine florality, but it's ideal for those who appreciate a luxury scent that has a great profile around honey, rum, and vanilla. Full stop, sexy as hell. I think that more of these women will get this on their nose and radar over the next couple years, and you're gonna to start to hear this one as one of those late bloomer fragrances that people start to get on late. But at the end of the day, Voyage of Paris is the one I want on this list to let you guys know it's been doing the job for me, and it is one sexy, sexy fragrance to wear. The blend is phenomenal. When I got this one, I kind of ran, um, I kind of, I didn't run into the ground. I won't say that I told you guys how the performance was not there, but the more I've let this macerate over time and my nose is picking up the nuances of it, great performer, longevity is there, the actual profile is beautiful, and the projection is also beautiful. So if you got something that you want to see us trail of a mile long, while still being subdued enough to capture those around you and not blow them away, this is Voyage of Paris, and I think it should be on everyone's list for a sampling of a fall fragrance that has a great green and florality feel to it with that honey and divana um, and rose, uh, not rose, but the jasmine mix. Great fragrance. Just one, listen to me sometimes. I'm telling y'all, Voyage of Paris is one to get your nose on. The women, I'm going to send this to a fruit fizz in my community. Shout out to Sharita M down in Atlanta. Love you, baby. Um, this is going to be one of those fragrances I'm going to send to some of these people let them know that these are great fragrances they should get their nose on. Once again, Voyage à Paris, Fragrance du Bois. Alright gentlemen, last on the list, I had to leave the shining star for the last one, and that is Starlight by the House of Zerzhov. One of the best vanillas you're going to find on the market. Um, beast mode fragrance. It is one that combines bergamot, cinnamon, almond. It creates this uplifting yet warm fragrance that you could just understand is so undeniably beautiful on the skin it's a fresh take on rich spicy vanilla but it has this feel of the, like electricity around it it's a perfect touch of, of intrigue and that's what you want in this type of fragrance and for me that's the one that I wanted to leave at the end of this list because to me everything that these women talked about embodying a scent that gave them ecstasy was inside of starlight it's masculine it's stellar choice for those who want to make a great statement without overpowering a woman's nose it's amory it's gourmand it's vanilla it's cardamom it has a great balsamic touch to it as well a lot of cloves in this one cedar wood and cinnamon make for one of the best vanilla fragrances on the market today especially for those trying to seduce so last on this list, the one that you guys should definitely get your nose on is from the house of Zerzhov, and it is Starlight. Beautiful fragrance, man. The choice that I would make. Once again, Starlight. Gentlemen, that is my list for you guys today. I hope, as always, you guys got something entertaining and educational from this particular video. As I state 
make the choice you know these are things that are going to make memories and they're going to make emotional connections and i think that these fragrances here bring about an emotional connection of ecstasy that's why i made this list that's why i scoured the internet for you guys so that you wouldn't have to so this list was made up of a combination of different women telling me through their video content what they thought was a beautiful seductive scent that made ecstasy and so i bought that content to you guys for this video so as always he leave a like below leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this particular list i know that many of you guys are going to chime in let me know about Ani but also I want you guys to understand that Starlight is one of those fragrances as well that's why I put it here and Voyage of Paris is also a great great fragrance that could be an impending perfect perf just perfect fragrance for anybody's collection so let me know below what you guys think about the list and until next time until next video I will see you peace